Hey guys, so for those that don't know, patch 5.0.4 is out. This is a pre mob patch. And yeah, so let's talk about hunters and the base changes of hunters. I'm not gonna go into any specific uh, spec changes. I'm only gonna talk about the general, completely general changes. So, so first, let's start by specs. For those that don't know already, uh, you must pick your spec separately from your talents. Your talents is a completely different thing, thing than your specs. So for your specs, which are the same, you will get base abilities and those abilities, uh, if you're not level cap yet, you will get those abilities while you're leveling, throughout leveling. So for Beast Mastery, the base abilities are going to be Kill Command, Cobra Shot, Arcane Shot, and Bis Bestial Wrath. So Cobra Shot is no longer a base ability, so you can't choose to be a bad marksmanship and use Cobra Shot instead of Steady Shot. Okay, so for marksmanship, you get Aim Shot, Steady Shot, Arcane Shot, and Camera Shot. By the way, th this four are not the only abilities you will get. You will get a lot more abilities, a lot more uh, spec abilities, and including passives when you pick a, t uh, a spec. And for survival, you get Explosive shot, cobra shot, black arrow, and trap mastery. So not everyone can go for trap mastery anymore. Only survival can have trap mastery. So now let's jump into uh, the spells, the base spells, or the things that are not based anymore. As, as I mentioned, a cobra shot is not a base skill anymore, which shouldn't be that big of a deal. You still get it when you pick a spec that uses cobra shot. Okay, aspects right now are on a global cooldown let me just show you here yep global cooldown all of them so but uh, there was recently a pa a post that uh, blizzard is going to change this uh, very soon but we don't know when let's change it back off the the global cooldown blizzard thinks that um, the aspects is not good game design so they're at one point in the future they will try to change and probably take him out of the game or something like that who knows okay continuing on uh, aspect of the beast is now a glyph so glyphs aspect of the beast is a minor glyph so you don't have to worry about using it as a major glyph I don't even have it it's right here aspect of the beast for those I ever used it I never used it but for those that did I think I did use it really really long time ago but after that, I never used it again. Okay, so next one is the double kill shot. It's now a base skill, the one that makes it so if you don't kill the target, uh, when you kill shot him, that your your cooldown is gonna reset. Okay, readiness. This is a big one. Readiness is now a base skill for all hunters, but it's now on a five minute cooldown, so it's kind of a loss for uh, for marksmanship, but it's a big big gain for um for beast mastery actually this is very powerful for beast mastery and it feels pretty even between survival and marksmanship right now but i still will miss the three minute readiness for sure um trap launcher is now a toggle ability so you'll see up here i can toggle it off and on and it doesn't cause focus or anything if you get if you get this arm you can easily toggle this o this off um so that's really cool uh next is focused aim so let's go to the passives now so focus aim uh reduces the pushback after from attacks while casting steady shot and cover shot by 70 percent this is now a uh, base ability uh and the uh, and true shot aura true shot aura i think it's the same than before i'm pretty sure um now it's a base ability so let's talk about talents now let's go through the talents um in the first tier, level 15 tier, you have Post Haze, Narrow Escape, and Crouching Tiger Hidden Camera. Post Haze will um, remove all movement pain effects and increase your movement speed by 60% after you disengage. Narrow Escape roots people, loots everyone within 8 yards when you disengage. This actually is kind of annoying sometimes. But my talent of choice is Crouching Tiger Hidden Camera just because I can disengage more often and I can deterrence more often. Okay, uh, for the level 30 we have Silence and Shot, Wyvern Sting, 
I'm binding shot and I've been picking silencing shot every time but because it feels like it's necessary over those two but I think this steer is, is it's a good pick like it's hard to pick but maybe because I'm so used to silencing shot I always go and pick silencing shot I don't know I feel kind of like empty without it for the TR-45 we have acceleration aspect of the iron hawk and spirit bomb and all of these are really good skills like this is another really hard choice I go for both normally aspect of the hawk and spirit bomb uh, mostly because I've just been doing uh, battlegrounds but I think yeah acceleration is really good too I don't know I'm probably gonna be constantly changing with with doing these three all the time because they're all really good but I haven't told you what they are acceleration heals you for 30% of your well heals you for 30% and your pet for 100% of total health oh that's pretty cool so that's a 2 minute cooldown and it's a it's a pretty good self heal uh, then aspect of the iron hog uh, reduces your uh, damage taken by 15% and it replaces aspect of the hog so it, in it still increases your attack power by 10% so that's really good it makes you a lot less squishy and I, I really like it sometimes depending how I'm feeling in the day <laughs> if I'm gonna pick after aspect of the iron hog or spirit bond spirit bond con is constantly healing you and if you're playing against melee this is probably better better because you can constantly kite him so kiting time is gonna be healing time so as long as you're not getting hit you're gonna be getting healed well even if you're getting heal hit but it's not as powerful or you don't feel it as much when you're getting hit as when you're kiting so if you're going against melee I think spirit bond is better even though when I was doing rogue duels it seemed to Asper of the iron hog seemed to be better I don't know I, this tier is the hardest tier for me to choose from okay so level 60 tier it's also a good tier but I think fervor falls a little bit behind but if you use it if you know how to use it well it's extremely powerful I've used it at times for openers for incredible openers but um, I don't think it's gonna be so popular the the opening heart on someone uh, let him blow all the cooldowns and then kill him because everyone has so much self heal and some so many more easier ways to get away from you and to avoid damage from you so right now because of the t of the aspects on global cooldown I don't want to change to Aspect of the Fox as often so I pick Thrill of the Hunt which uh, gives me a 30% chance when you fire, fire a range attack that causes focus or kill command to reduce the focus cost of your next 3 arcane shots or multi shot by 20 so that's pretty much makes it almost free I think free completely uh, let's say 40 focus multi shot 20 focus arcane shot so your arcane shot will be free and that makes it a lot easier to kite w without actually having to to cast your steady shot or cobra shot and in beta I was playing a survival and really there was not one time that I did not have a proc and when I didn't have a proc I either had to reapply my serpent sting or I had to reapply my black arrow or my widow venom and those were the only times that I didn't have procs other than that I always have proc so I think this will be the talent of choice for survival since it used to be a survival uh, talent but it was different okay for the level 75 we have murder crows uh, blink strike and Lynx rush I always go for blink strike just because I like the control of my pets so I normally do do this followed by CC or something like that so I can get my CC uh, like straight up without like for example your monkey sometimes your monkey will will not get the CC in time because it's a cast time so this will make it a lot easier or when the flag carrier gets away you go blink strike and then your spider will be in enough range even if they like blinked or whatever your spider is still gonna be in enough range to web them so 
Blink Strike is my talent of choice, but if someone shows me and proves me that the other two are better than Blink Strike in any way, I've seen Link's Rush and really I'm not that impressed by it. Like I've seen in videos and stuff. I haven't used it, but I'm really not that impressed by it. I still like Blink Strike better. And the Mario Cross, I did use it in the beginning of the beta and it's alright. It was better when it was a one minute cooldown. And cooldowns kind of turn me off, so the higher the cooldown, the less I'm gonna use the ability. Or the less likely I'm gonna use the ability. And it costs 60 focus, so for sure I go for Blink Strike. It's free, 20 second cooldown. Link Strike is also free, but it's a 1.5 minute cooldown, so I'm gonna go for Blink Strike. I'm not gonna talk about the level 90 talents, I do have a video about the level 90 talents, because this is still level 85 patch. So let's talk about Glyph really fast. Camouflage makes it so your camo is now a stealth, so that's pretty freaking cool. I use that almost every time. Uh, camera shot makes it so your camera shot heals you for uh, 2 additional percent. Your camera shot uh, heals you for 5% base. It was 3% for a while in beta, but they changed it back up to 5. Disengage makes it so you disengage back farther. I, I've used this a couple times. Seems to be pretty good. Uh, distracting shot, your distracting shot now distracts the target to attack your pet instead of you. So that that's pretty good for questing, I guess. Uh, freezing trap uh, is just like the old one that when it breaks it slows down the target. Ice trap increases the radius just like the old one. Marked for death. This used to be a marksmanship uh, talent that would make it so your king shot, camera shot um, would have put a marks, um, hunter's mark on the target. But now they added a kill command and explosive shot as well to automatically apply hunter's mar mark. Now. Um, I'm not gonna go for this, even though I still haven't got used to <sighs> applying Hunter's Mark because I've played Marksmanship for so long, but I will, I will get used to it. I'm almost completely used to it. There is very little times that I forget. Okay, then Cliff of Mar Master Skull is the one that I use most of the time, which increases the duration of your Master Skull. No escape increases the range critical strike of all your attacks on targets affected by your freezing trap by 20%. This is would be really useful um pretty much for any any spec, I guess. I don't I don't know. But this is a lot this is a buff from the old uh survival talent which would be 6% I, I think. Uh and it was I think it was more than just your freezing trap, it was all the traps too, I'm not sure. Okay, pathfinding increases your speed of your aspect of the cheetah and aspect of the pack by 8% and increases your mount speed by 10%. So I was using this for questing and it seemed to be good because you walk faster when you need to walk faster and then you ride faster too. So I'm probably gonna be picking this for leveling. Scatter shot increases the range of scatter shot just like the old one. Scattering your your scatter shot also removes all damage over time effects from the target. This would be really good to get some some CC down really like when you really need to get CC down or for a lot of target switching I guess. Um, snake trap is just like the old one. Your snake take ninety percent reduced damage from area of effects attacks. Uh, tranquilizing shot, your, your tranquilizing shot no longer costs focus while it has a 10 second cooldown. I will never pick this. Animal bond, while your pet is active, all healing done to you and your pet is increased by 10%. That's kind of good. Uh, black eyes, while you move through the area affected by your eye strap, you gain 50% movement speed. Deterrence increases the damage reduction granted by deterrence by 20%. So. I think that that's good. I actually didn't know I had that. I might use that. Okay, Endless Wrath. You, the, while Blister Wrath is active, your pet cannot be killed, but can still be damaged. It's kind of weird. Your Explosive Trap no longer deals damage. Instead of knocking back enemies from the trap when they explode, this is amazing. This is a really fun glyph. Like, uh, this this is one of the hard choices when you want to pick this over other stuff like this is a this is just a fun glyph like because traps are what is it called like you don't know when there's a trap there so let's say your camo 
and you put it right by the flag in lumber mill. Someone's gonna go cap the flag and they're gonna get knocked back if you put it in the right position. It's it's awesome, like they they don't expect it. It's, it's a fun it's probably the funnest glyph the hunters have right now. I see Solace. Your freezing trap also removes all damage over time effect from the target. Now it's either this or scouting, but not both together. Now the thing is that if you do it with scatter, you probably want to use scatter only for trapping. I don't know, something like that. Okay, men pet gives your men pet a better 50% chance to cleanse one curse. This is magic poison effect from your pet each tick. Now I think this used to be a beast mastery talent. I'm pretty sure it was, but I'm not completely sure. Uh, increases your total amount of healing down by your men pet ability by 60%. I don't know how this would be necessary in any time, like really for questing. I think I would go for spirit bond, which also heals your pet. Or maybe not. You and your pet. Yes, your pet. So you really don't even need men pet, and you need men pet only for a little bit. Maybe for soloing like elites and like rares and stuff like that, in which your pet is gonna be taking a lot of damage. Possibly, yeah, yeah, that would be cool actually. Yes, I remember the beginning of uh, Cataclysm when we had to kill that shark, the tank in Tolvarad. Uh, my pets would die to it because I wasn't Beastmaster, of course. But then I figured out how to do it. Okay, Mirror Blades. When attacked by a spell while on the turns, you have a 100% chance to reflect it back to attacker. This could be very useful actually more than using deterrence for for uh, for like a defensive cooldown more for like a reflect for example reflecting shatters that's freaking cool like reflecting a shatter or reflecting a deep freeze that would be really really good and then you can just turn off deterrence you can macro it so you can turn it off and then you can blow him up or something like that uh, misdirection. When you use misdirection on your pet, the cooldown is reset. This is just like the old one. I think that used to be a mi uh, minor though. No, I don't remember. I don't even remember the old glyphs anymore. Okay, for the minor glyphs, this is all just um, eye candy stuff, fun stuff. So I'm gonna let you guys figure that out. You guys go through them and have fun doing that. So that's it for this guide. This was a really long guide. I hope my next guys are not that like that long because I am gonna be doing a uh, warriors, mage, DK, and I think that's it. Yeah, my four characters that I know the most. So don't forget to subscribe, like me on Facebook, uh, follow me on Twitter. Until the next one, good hunting. Yeah.